comedy. He's performed all over, including in New York at uh, Comic Strip Live and at Gotham Live. So I want everybody to start clapping right now. Come on, let's hear it. Come on, I need some energy here. All right, everybody, give a warm 18th and 21st welcome to Jeff Heisen! Thank you, Sandy. All right, I'm one of the uh, older comics tonight, and I had a show not long ago, and before it began, the other comics were discussing the effects of drug use on comedy. They asked me my opinion, and I said, Lipitor has no effect. <laughs> I had another show, and there was a DJ. The DJ asked me what song I wanted to hear while I walked on stage. And I said, Uptown Funk, sung by Bruno Mars, because that's my jam. <laughs> And he played Tiny Dancer by Elton John. <laughs> Not exactly the same. I asked him why. He said, you're old. I thought it was more appropriate. <laughs> That's not nice. It's tough for a guy to get older because we still look at women the same way we always have, but women look at us differently. We become distinguished. <laughs> yeah, I know how a girl in her 20s distinguishes me from other guys. <laughs> She's distinguishing me from someone she'd fool around with. Now, I don't want to disappoint you. That's as dirty as my act gets. Sorry. I have a reputation as a clean comic because I don't curse on stage. So one night I was asked to open a show for a gospel comic. And it was a great show, but before it began, the promoter asked all of us to gather together, close our eyes, hold hands, and pray for a good show. That's fine, except another comic asked me, does that offend you as a Jew? And I said, no, but I've heard your act, and you should have been praying for better material. <laughs> Showed him. That's one for our side. I have a day job. Some of you, this guy just said, good, you need one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm a lawyer. Hold your applause for lawyers. <laughs> but I don't like talking about being a lawyer when I'm on stage. And I think that's because we don't know each other yet. And when people are introduced to a comedian, they say nice things. Like, tell me a joke. Say something funny. That doesn't happen with lawyers. Nobody meets a lawyer and says, tell me a statute. <laughs> Say something in Latin. <laughs> and I sometimes get my jobs confused. One day I was in court and the opposing counsel said, I object. But I forgot where I was and I thought he was a heckler. So I turned to him and said, I object to your face. <laughs> the judge didn't like that at all. Let me tell you a little bit more about myself. I got in an elevator recently. Thank you. <laughs> and a guy gets in and starts talking about politics in an elevator. You can't do that. That's a breach of elevator etiquette. You see, I believe there's certain rules you have to follow before you take an elevator ride. Now, if you have a conversation, it cannot last longer than the time it takes to travel two floors. It's just not fair to the other passengers. One day I got in on the first floor with two women. I press three, they press five. One of them turns to the other and asks, so how was your date? And the other one said, it was so romantic. We had dinner, then we went back to his place, and then we... And they turned to look at me as the door opened on my floor. But I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I wanna know what happens. So one of them asks, isn't this your floor? And I said, yes, but that was before I knew you had a date. <laughs> Please keep talking, I'll just stand in the corner. It won't be creepy at all. <laughs> oh, and as for that guy that started talking about politics, 
I got so mad, I pressed all the buttons and told him about my colonoscopy. <laughs> See how he likes that. Sandy's said she's been married three years. I've been married a long time, but I still look at other women. I think that all married guys do. Well, except for one guy I know, he says he doesn't because it's disrespectful to his wife. That's sweet. I have a nickname for him. Liar. <laughs> you know that as soon as he leaves the house, his wife's watching Magic Mike. <laughs> Young guy I know asked me what marriage is like. I said, let me tell you a story. My wife asked me if I wanted to go somewhere. And I said, no. And she said, oh, we're going. And I said, so why'd you ask me? And she said, I wanted you to feel as if you were involved. <laughs> and that's what marriage is like. <laughs> the women are nodding their head yes. The men are nodding their head yes. You know you're married when you're driving and somebody honks a horn and your wife immediately turns to you and says, what did you do? <laughs> The horn is four lanes away on the other side of the highway, and she thinks that it's your fault. And if you think I'm wrong about that, see who gets the blame the next time you lose the car in the parking lot. It's important to support each other when you're married. My, my wife has my back when we're in the car with the GPS lady. <laughs> the GPS takes me down a side road and I ask it, where are you taking me? And my wife yells at it, yeah, what are you, stupid? <laughs> when we're in the car, it's like we're in a gang. A weird, middle-aged Jewish gang. <laughs> On the day of her anniversary, I went to her Facebook page and I wrote, happy anniversary to my wonderful wife. This counts as a card. <laughs> She didn't mind, we've been married for so long we just get each other whatever cards are on sale. You don't know how many times we celebrated Kwanzaa. <laughs> I've been married for so long I've forgotten what sex is like when you're single. There's a single guy at work, he said, I can't wait to go home, my girl's gonna be there, we're gonna have sex tonight. And I said, but it's Tuesday. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> My name is Jeff Heisen. Thank you very much. Everybody, give it up one more time for Jeff Heisen. All right, are you guys ready for your next comedian? Are you? Come on, you got to convince me now. All right, all right. Well, uh,